Okay, we made it. Barely. Not bad. But not good. <laughs> but we made it, so. That is an intriguing result indeed. But let's see how you perform in the final trial. Ooh, you trying to scare me? And out of nowhere, what if monster Lucretia just appears or something? <gasps> Let's see what it is! Ah, oh, it wasn't. Oh! This might be a little bit tricky. No holding back. So stagger twice. Keep it together. Here goes! Call me fire. Ooh, this one this is dangerous. Why don't you lead the way? You're in good hands now. I got you now. We need to stagger the enemy twice. Well, these guys should have enough health. Let's do this. <laughs> I wonder if Tifa and Aerith have been plotting something. I mean, if Tifa has her memories intact and both Aerith and Tifa have been talking with each other. I don't know. As Cloud, I would feel a little bit betrayed. Hmm. I feel like that's gonna make him like trust them less, especially Tifa, just because he's been distrusting of her from the beginning back at Calm and then at the Gongaga reactor as well. And he, his willpower was even more shaken just because of what the frick? Because of the Mako and Genova, Sephira. Well, will you give up or will you I was uh, not expecting that. Although I should have been expecting it because that happened when I played as Kate Sid. So we definitely need to watch out for that super attack that that... What is it? Well, what's it called? The kind of weight machine. Deal with that. I'll show you what I can do. I don't know. I can't find the word. I only know it in Swedish. Can you take over? And in Swedish, it's called. This one's for you! Here I go! Good to go? I got this. It's on you. So it's my turn? That's what it looks like, at least. It's your turn now. The pleasure's all <laughs> I was not a fan in the OG of Tifa knowing everything about Cloud, but didn't tell him anything. I know it was to protect him, but also she kinda did want him around. Because she did say something at Cosmo Canyon, I don't remember what it was, I just... I just have this feeling that it was something that I was like, mm, mm, I don't know about that. It, it made it sound a little bit selfish. But uh, don't take my word for it now because I don't remember what she said. Let's do this. But it was something that I had a bit of a negative feeling towards. 
So I am hoping that she does not have memories of who Zack is, of what actually happened before the Nibelheim incident. And I believe that's what Square Enix might have wanted to change as well, because in Traces of Tifa, it doesn't seem like she has all her memories of what happened. And also with the whispers around. Yeah. Hope you learned your lesson. And it is, it is not it is not unusual for trauma to actually distort your memory. Or even just you have blanks. Most of the times it's just like blanks. Marvelous! You've cleared every trial! <laughs> I've created masterpieces yet again, I see. Without further ado, my dear specimens, let's proceed to Act Two. <laughs> let's go. Oh, Barrett, he's so uneasy with this. He's like, do we have to proceed? Why do I have to be the one you here? You mentioned some gal used to work here, but... What exactly did she do? Whatever the good professor bade her. Lucretia! Their bodyguard. I was never made privy to the details of their research. Well, knowing that sick freak, I doubt he was up to anything good. And I bet that gal wasn't much better than him either. That's not true. Oh. Oof. Did I touch a nerve? Just stay quiet. I have to concentrate. He really loves Lucretia. Even in Advent Children, he really loves her. You know, deep down, I knew you'd make it this far. Of course, not every participant does. Only the finest, the elite among you, survive. You should be very proud. I, for one, am delighted by your success. Where are you off to? To shut him up. <laughs> <laughs> As a token of my appreciation, I prepared for you a gift. Uh, is this it? That's making the sound? That's what we've all been hearing? You gotta be kidding me! Uh -huh. Here it is, your final try. You must face this feat in combat and emerge triumphant or die. <laughs> <laughs> Vincent shut down the AI. Come on. <laughs> Love that. Don't overdo it. If you insist. Here I go. There's more than me, huh? Hmm. I actually feel bad for Lucretia. I mean, she did a numerous mistakes. I'll show you what I can do. However, one more shot. He's very human for doing those mistakes. I'm your one stop and I don't think we should be all too hard on her. I mean, what she did wasn't really too good. And it might be unforgivable for, for some. But you know, we all make mistakes. And in the end, she regretted everything. Keep it together. And... She was probably, most probably coerced by Hojo into everything bad she did. And he for sure was abusive to her as well. Come on. And she felt tremendous guilt for Vincent's father. I think I, I talked about this in the beginning of the gameplay when we were at the grassland. Just taking a Her mistakes weren't small. But I still hope that we will find her. We will see her and maybe maybe she can communicate with Sephiroth. Because I also don't know how much of Sephiroth is actually Sephiroth. 
and not Genova. I mean, what if this time the pressure can reach him somehow? Still, he's done way too much. He cannot be forgiven. But maybe he can redeem himself somehow. Come on. You never know. The true villain of the story for sure is Hojo and Genova. Yeah. And I believe the images we see of Sephiroth is actually Genova, like most of the time. Go forth and kick my face! And just the way Sephiroth just completely changed. And he did a 180. Because he was, he was a good guy in Crisis Core at, at the beginning. And then he just fell in. And thought himself superior to everyone else because he thinks he's a Cetra. Never help me out! Also a little bit strange why why he wants to kill the only Cetra. Eric. Curious. <laughs> I mean, wouldn't taking her hostage, like, be a better way? I mean, she might know where the promised land is. What if real Sephiroth is fighting Genova as well? We don't know. Oh, that's so pretty! <gasps> so pretty! Guess this means we busted our ghost. A monster. Tainted by Hojo's touch, no doubt. Why the singing, though? An outlet for stress, perhaps. An expression of displeasure. Despite their appearance, some fiends are capable of complex thinking and experiencing emotions. <laughs> right. Monsters got feelings. I think he's talking about himself. I know we ought to have mercy for all life, but you gotta draw the line somewhere. In any case, thanks for your help with the investigation. Don't stay too long. Ooh, added new tests. Oh my god, I love when Vincent is walking around, you guys. Just the sign... Just the sound of his armor just like moving about. <laughs> it's so funny that Tifa was like, nah, I'm out of here. He really did not come along. <laughs> That's so funny. I'm sitting this one out. <laughs> it's so real for that. So real. <laughs> well, this was interesting. We got a little bit of dialogue surrounding Lucretia. And you can certainly hear how much how much Vincent still loves her. And he feels tremendous guilt. Exactly like Cloud does in Advent Children. 
And that's why probably Cloud asked Vincent how you move past it. And he's like, you don't. If I remember correctly. I was gonna watch it again now before playing Rebirth. <laughs> but it's so depressing, you guys. <laughs> it's so depressing. But I am gonna. I really would have wanted to watch it at the cinemas, but I think it was only airing in like North America and Japan. Let's go home. You know what? I just want to check around. I mean, maybe, maybe we can find something, something hidden. Everything kinda looks the same. Let's go in here. It looks so cozy. I can see why Vincent liked uh, the Ghost Manor Hotel. Anything precious here that we need? I never went in here. Let's follow the trail. The music is so Vincent coded. Okay. Maybe there wasn't anything. I thought that it might be something. Something like Lucretia wise or something. But no. Maybe a photo. I don't know what I thought, I just had a feeling. Let's go out then. Can we go up now? No. We can. A pumpkin? Now let's go do Tifa's quest. I think we're done with this one. I don't want Vincent to the say something. The reactor is currently under investigation. Some martial artist named Zondi came up with this Tifa excelled in this. <laughs> so you're certainly well traveled. Your body of work is proof of that. I hope that more people come to recognize your talent. <laughs> they will. That explains why Cloud had all those pictures on his desk in Advent Children. He became a photographer. I heard your investigation was a success. Speaking of, I've heard talk of some sort of haunted train graveyard in Midgar. I'd love to see it for myself. Oh, we've been there. There were plenty of ghosts. <laughs> I love the Tifa's entry. She's like, okay, now I can follow you guys. <laughs> So funny. You don't look ill. Passing through, I take it. 
Yep, collecting quests. You're good to go. See you tomorrow. There should be one here. You might have noticed how But they did mention something about robed guys without numbers and without without any needle marks. Without numbers, without letters, without numbers. Because Cloud is one of those. And Zack. So who else sure that is myself. could have been here since that's what they said? Where we care for the and how many? How many are we talking about? What did it say on... Is it really oh. mine though? you just listening you've got a great voice oh you flatter me i didn't even know i was doing it you see this cat i feed sometimes has gone missing and when i worry i cannot help but see hey hmm? sounds like a job for a merc doesn't it Can we only choose one of those? Well, aren't you the picture of confidence? You wouldn't happen to be a professional feline finder, would you? Not officially, but I've got a good cat catching record. Been doing it since I was a kid. Yeah. <laughs> I'm Christine, by the way, chef and chanteuse. You might want to start by looking around the foot of Mount Nebel. She's got the most beautiful snow white coat. Petite little thing, too. Speaking of, she must be starving out there. Here, be sure to feed her. What if this cat is actually Tifa's cat, Fluffy? All this talk of cats makes me think of Fluffy. Yes! Yeah, one and all. Exactly. What happened to her, anyway? No idea. Haven't seen her since the fire five years ago. Damn. I can't shake the feeling that I just left her to die. I really hope she's okay, but if she's not... It's not your fault, Tifa. You can't blame yourself. But Cloud does have a good cat-catching record. <laughs> he was the one who found Fluffy. In Traces of Tifa, it was mentioned that he was the one who found Fluffy once. Yes, this is really but Claudia was the one that brought Fluffy to Tifa. Because Cloud was too shy. Hey, something I've been meaning to ask you. What? How come you named your cat Fluffy? It's not like her fur was long or super soft or anything. Well, to be fair, I wasn't the one who named her. The mayor gave her to me as a gift for my 12th birthday. When he put her in my arms, he said, This little lady's name is Fluffy, but he never explained why. Don't get me wrong, I was dead set on giving her a better name. But before I could, everyone had already started calling her Fluffy. And the more I heard it, the more I thought, Well, maybe it's not that bad. So I let it stick. I wasn't much of a fighter back in those days. And look Hard at you now. Looking at me now. Uh, exactly. <laughs> Oh man. <laughs> yeah, she's very different from when she was a kid. Different but still a lot the same Tifa. Since she still cares about what others how others perceive her and think about her. But I, th I think that's something that Square Enix will work on. It feels like she's gonna have her part in part 3. 
and it might be very different from how how we've seen it in the OG because that felt more more centered Do around you remember Cloud. Remember that red bandana Fluffy always had around her neck. Now that you mention it, believe it or not, my dad made it with cloth from one of his old shirts. Even though she was my cat, I think he took better care of her. That right. Sorry, didn't mean to bring him up. No need to apologize. Aww. Aww, why did you apologize for that, Tifa? Aww. You can talk about your dad how much you want. I mean, she hasn't even finished grieving. Bring it. And she's apologizing. Deal with that. You will regret this. It's like she's just apologizing for existing. Oh, I feel so bad for her. Just like that. Okay? Like you just, just, you just want to give her a hug. really lost a lot so far this quest has been fun the dialogues are just coming randomly I love that where where do we go it felt like there was no way here Uh-huh. Let's go with Choco back. Honestly, I feel like this might be... It feels like this might be the best quest yet with Tifa. We'll just have to see. I like the frog one. That had a really cute cutscene. What's up? Heard something. Over there. Let's go. A cat! Oh my god, I would love for it to be Fluffy. Just knowing that Fluffy survived. Hi, Don't overdo it. Hearing the hands now! <laughs> I feel like Tifa's quests otherwise have been like pretty boring. But this time we've got a really good dialogue. Look. I really love this quest. <laughs> Fluffy, what's wrong? Is she sick? She doesn't look so good. Let's try giving her the cat food. I hope it's just the food and that she's not sick. There's plenty more where this came from, so dig in. She has a whole cat colony here. Oh, she recovered. Oh, I see what we're gonna do. Make way for the amazing you. Ready? Ready. Come on, come closer. Oh. You don't even need to be close. You right? On you. you won't regret this! Oh, wait! Fluffy can get hurt? Can we cure? No! 
We need to be careful and quick. Can't let anything happen to Fluffy. I'm kind of scared to talk. I don't want to miss any dialogue. But this is so nice. It was actually Fluffy. <laughs> What are we gonna do? Are we gonna bring Fluffy with us? Or are we just gonna let her be here? I mean, Keep it they seem to be taking care of her well, so... And we're on our way to save the world, so... We don't wanna put Fluffy in danger. What did you find? Let's move. Oh, he's collecting kitties. Oh, that's so cute. Oh my god, I love this quest. <gasps> oh. oh, there you went. Give it all you've got. Take the lead. I'm your one stop club right shot. We're done here. Yeah, so far I do like this quest. I'm hoping that we'll have some kind of meaningful conversation. Maybe talking about their past in Nibelheim. How about you show me? And then Maybe Tifa can just focus, you know, on the future? You've got this. But nah, I mean, she hasn't really worked through her, her trauma, so... That'll do. It's fair to say that she probably will think a lot about the past anyway. But when it comes to, to Cloud, I'm hoping that she won't be just stuck in reminiscing about the past about when there were kids it's probably she's probably coping when she is doing that most probably because that was going in. a time where she had no worries so of course she will go back to that time I can help too Sometimes I feel like she was more confident as a kid than she is now. I'm a little worried Fluffy and the kittens might have been hurt. Do you mind if we head back to the village? Oh, you know, if we asked her nicely, I bet that head chef would take care of the kittens. I mean, can't say no to both of us, right? Guess we'll see. Come on. Exactly. No, that is a perfect idea. Way too far from Fluffy and her kittens and oh and they will lose their way. Keep track of them, okay. Oh let me pet you. See, do you not remember me? <laughs> so adorable. Oh my god. Little cutie. Where are you going? Where are you going? So adorable. Yeah, this is definitely my favorite quest with Tifa. I feel like her quests otherwise, except for the frog one, especially at the beginning, I felt like have been meh, a little bit boring. And they haven't really worked on the relationship between Tifa and, and Cloud when doing the side quests. It's felt completely different with uh, Aerith's side quests. So this one feels like they're actually getting closer. You guys, I don't know if I should be the one leading because I have no clue where I'm going. 
and fluffy isn't showing me the way home <laughs> so i need to be the one to localize <laughs> oh where are you you're not gonna run away are you come on kitties are you following where is everyone behind us Aww. so adorable oh they're all there oh. <laughs> so cute destination reach the area around the reactor is currently <laughs> under investigation so steer <laughs> Tifa doing an aerith now, she's just running away. <laughs> oh. Huh. Guess even she can tell this place is nothing like it used to be. That's probably why she never came back here. That's true. Fluffy? After him. I heard something. All right. Oh, piano. Oh, welcome. I'm afraid the staff is on break at the moment. Tifa's team. Do you think someone would brief us on this? Queens. Considering we're the ones who actually have to look after them. Why, look who it is. Oh, my little baby. I'm so glad you're okay. Aww. And just look at all these yummy muffins you brought back with you. She gave birth to her litter on the mountain. Oh, sweetling, you're going to be a great mommy. I hope this is all right. It wasn't exactly safe for a bunch of kittens. Couldn't just leave them, so... Don't be uh -huh. sorry, dear. You did the right thing. I'll take excellent care of this family. They'll want for nothing. Long I've dreamed of opening my home To little ones to play and rub I'm going to take these cats in. They're going to need names. You've got such beautiful white fur. Blanca. Yes, that fits perfectly, don't you think? As for the kittens, we'll decide later. Actually, the cat's already got a name. <laughs> Cloud, you're so what? cute. You weren't hoping to hear me play, were you? I'm terribly sorry, Blanca, but I'm a bit worn out after all that excitement. Tifa can play. Cloud! <coughs> what a wonderful idea! You'll humor us, dear, won't you? <sighs> okay. Just a bit. This oh, really is one of the best quests. This occasion calls for an accompaniment! I know some folks who would just love the chance to perform. Don't go anywhere. Oh, she's nervous! It escalated quickly. <laughs> I wasn't expecting an audience. I haven't practiced since I was a kid. What should I do? Back out? Well, that's not an option. Then I think you better get warmed up. Yes. Oh, <laughs> <gasps> Aerith's theme. Oh my God, that is so nice. <gasps> Getting Aerith's theme in Tifa's old place that is so beautiful because of how close they are <laughs> i love it oh i'm gonna suck at this Yeah, I have no clue. <laughs> the cats aren't impressed. <laughs> hey, I said it was a long time ago.
I'm playing like a kid. But Tifa is so beautiful playing. And I love that we're playing Aerith's theme. Oh. so significant to Tifa oh my gosh you guys it is gonna hurt like 100 th times more if we can't save everything this makes me so teary-eyed oh my god don't cry now I can just imagine how Tifa will, will feel. I mean, everyone will be devastated, but I think it's gonna be Tifa and Cloud who will be the most devastated. <laughs> Ranksy! <laughs> Was, uh, sorry about that. Definitely rusty. No, you were great. Thanks. Glad that you could help. Take care of the cats for me. I certainly will. <laughs> Rest assured, I'll keep them very well fed. So bring your appetites. <coughs> All right, come along then. Playing that piano again brought back a lot of memories. How mom used to teach me while dad was downstairs in the kitchen doing his best, which was pretty good. Hangouts with Emilio and the gang, <laughs> which we kept inviting you to, but you never came. Never? Really? Really, but you seemed fine on your own. That what it looked like? That I enjoyed being alone? You didn't? Of course not. Huh. Guess we still don't know each other that well. Hmm. Well, never too late to make up for lost time. Yeah. Great that's save. True. I'm glad we came. Yeah. Glad we found Fluffy, too. <laughs> I think you mean Blanca. But yeah, I hope she and the kittens are happy here. That was such a nice quest! <laughs> Tifa finally got a good quest. You might have noticed how some of our patients have honestly on their arms. This was the only one that Is felt like I'm afraid you'll have to track them down like yourself. a good fun quest and meaningful to both Tifa and Cloud. Are you heading out? I think Tifa really really needed this. That was nice. So beautiful and there, there we got it we got to even clear out that um, cloud didn't want to be alone as a kid he wasn't the loner that that everyone thought he was and it is so evident now that he has the whole group he is not a loner at all. He really much likes to have people around him. And it's nice that they referenced from the book as well, like that Tifa, Tifa thought that Cloud liked being alone. He thought that he felt like it was peaceful being alone and that's why he never wanted to hang out with them. But I, I feel like Cloud didn't want to hang out with the other guys because maybe he didn't feel as cool as them and since he wanted to impress Tifa, since he had a crush on her, of course! And he probably just wanted to be the one and only friend. He feels like he could have been that type of kid to want his own friend. 
like his friend can't have other friends. I feel like he was that type of kid. And maybe that's why as well, you know when he gained that false memory of Zack and Tifa said that she would be the one to talk with Aerith because they're close. Maybe that's also what he felt. Like he felt like, oh, Aerith was friends with him first and now she's like being taken away. And no, not taken away, it's more like he thought that the two of them had the strongest relationship. I mean, it's, it's not far off since he's not had a genuine friend that way. And it's actually more common than we think. That's why they they say that three three friends a group a group of friends, if you're three, that you won't really get along. That's a decent amount of choco grass, I suppose. Well, what do you think? Should we take it back to the sage? Sure. But then again. Me and my best friends, we are a set of three. And believe it or not, but we have not had a single argument. Oh, you get your hands on that choke. There we go. Well, well, if it ain't my beloved choco grass. This stuff can be one hell of a hassle to gather. Thank goodness I had you to get it for me. Okay, so what are you going to do with it? <laughs> I suppose you've earned the right to know. First, I take this fluff, mix it with some chocobo feathers, and let it ferment. Once it's dry, I boil it all down. Then and I do what? squeeze it all out and voila, my patented choco tincture. That's some kind of magic medicine? Oh no, just a little fun. This wrinkly cheeky old... <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of class, that. if you've got some extra tufts on hand, would you mind sharing them with my assistant at the shop? I promise I'll make it worth your while. Please, tell me about my father. Hold your chocobo, son. There's still one thing you need to do for me first. What a surprise. This geezer isn't gonna tell you Jack. Face it, kid. You got a lot of nerve. <laughs> Casting aspersions after all the wisdom I've shared. All the what now? <laughs> so you haven't realized you've been training this whole time? Tracking down Selena forced you to get in touch with a chocobo's feelings. And all that running across the water you did helped hone your sense of balance and your bird handling. Key skills for any aspiring jockey. What do you say, Cloud? Bet you feel like a real choco pro by now. Can't say I do. Sounds to me like you need more training. Reckon we ought to add one more item to your regimen. Oh! Think of it as a final trial of sorts. Uh huh. Oh, give me a break. Don't go changing the subject here, Gramps. We're not doing your stupid trial. No, it's fine. I'll do it. Then it's settled. I'll be your opponent. And dear Selena will be your steed. If Cloud wins. Does that mean you'll finally tell me about my dad? Oh, we're gonna race him? You've got a deal. But know that I won't be pulling any punches out there. When you're ready, give me a holler and we can hit the track. Okay. I think I'm ready. I think I am ready. I just need water. Okay, we're ready. You prepared to undertake the final trial? I think so. I don't know if we'll be able to beat him at the first time, but eventually. But I really want to continue on with the story because I am so excited to see what will happen. 
And I'm really, 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 really hoping that we can save Aerith. Like, why are we else doing this? We need to be able to save her. I mean, whatever all that Marlene said is also to show us that we can save Aerith. That's what it means to me. Well, oh, oh, I forgot. Uh, right, I totally forgot how to, mm, yeah. <laughs> Maybe if there was like a trial run Zoom the chocobo uh -huh. I see what outfit he's pulling Is it faster? Yo, he has given his chocobo something how, how the frick was it? How, what did I do to like drift? I don't remember which button it was. Ooh. There was a button to drift. Do they have to hold the button? Yeah, I'm not winning this, I think. But you never know. We're not that far off. Okay, there weren't missile seeking. Ah, uh, I really need something to shoot at him. First. Oh my god, no. Ah! <laughs> oh my god, this guy. Ah! I really need a boost. <laughs> it was funny that Cloud was like, well, the cat has a name. It's Flo. And Tifa was like, shh, don't mention it. <laughs> Because Cloud is so truthful. He's so honest. So he doesn't really think about how it might look to others. And I mean, he's not. He didn't want to say it out of anything bad. It wasn't a bad reason to to tell the lady that the cat's name is actually is actually Fluffy. But he just felt so much like a kid there. Do you know what I mean? He felt like such a kid. He is gaining some emotional intelligence, definitely. At some point, he is perceptive. And we don't really get give him credit for that. Yeah, I don't know if I can beat this guy. I need training. Oh my god, stop running into me! This old man. But at least now I know how to drift. Out of the range. Where is he flying? Oh my god. Ah! Yeah, he is a master. Just you wait. Just you wait. What if this is some kind of hidden track? Ah. Mm. No! 
Okay, guys. You know what? I can't be bothered to try this again. I just want to continue on with the story. And maybe search for that treasure as well. Don't just ride the bird. Ride with the bird. Yeah, I'm gonna come back to you later. I'm gonna come back to you later. We are gonna go back. Guess we can can we teleport here? If we pick this Pirates King treasure. Uh, Aha! Tiny Bronco. <laughs> We didn't have to run. Teleporting is so nice. I'm gonna try to find this treasure, but if I don't, I'm just gonna head on with the story. Because I don't have too much time today. As long as I was able to play like almost three hours. Two and a half hour maybe. Because I have some stuff to do. I always try to play at least two hours every day. Sometimes after work, if I'm too tired, I just skip it. Oh, these were wooden boxes. I thought they were like floating stones or something. So I didn't really want to want to drive over them at first. Now I know. Ooh. Oh, it's dark. <gasps> what if there's a giant octopus here? <gasps> that would be very scary. Very, very scary. So please don't be. I'm honestly scared to go to the temple actually. Oh wow, it's huge. Should we just go up here? Where is it? Up here? Well, I have no idea what's gonna happen. Only know from the OG, but since we've strayed quite a bit from the OG. I don't know. The music is freaking amazing. Listen to it, it's so majestic. It's like the music is telling us you're about to do something really important. This Juna? Is that a Costa del Sol ship? Before Shinra lays eyes no. on us, I say we skedaddle. Yes, we skedaddle. <laughs> That's what we're gonna do. This is your captain speaking. If you're feeling seasick, I suggest taking a gander at the sky. Get your imagination going. Gaze up at that endless blue canvas dotted with puffy white clouds. Then whoosh! The tiny Bronco splits the scene in two. Tumbles from a loop into a tailspin, but falls up at the last second. God damn it. So it's fine right now. <laughs> Always nice to hear dialogue when you're out in the map. It's doing your thing. Right now we're just trying to find where to go. Ooh, can there be some kind of treasure here? 
can we go on top of this? Maybe not. Oh? That was something. Pirate yet, Sam, I think it said. So I think that was one of the treasures. It was purplish. Can we? No. Where are you? Maybe we'll get to know much more about the Cetra than when you in the OG. That's gonna be so interesting. Maybe it'll fill the the void from what uh, the G were talking about. The G were talking about. I make them sound like gangsters. <laughs> Maybe they are. <laughs> They sound pretty bad to me. But maybe we're we're gonna hear the Cetra story. What if they really were bad? Ooh. Oh wow. I see something. Huh? Look at the sky! That's so beautiful! I think my cat wants my attention again. But it's okay, it's just a couple of minutes. Not long now. I hope you realize this temple of yours is not, in fact, the promised land. No? Then what is it? Hmm. The beginning of the end. The celebration of the faithful. Rosh. A watershed moment for all mankind. But the temple itself... Merely the stage. You guys be careful too. Nice to see Reno again. He's been sure on a long vacation. Place? Quite. Cinematics are gonna be incredible. Oh no, that is so cool! And I thought the OG was cool. Oh my gosh, this is magical. Oh, oh my gosh, incredible! Hey guys. Look! I'm looking. <laughs> All right, mateys. Time to hoist the sails. This thing doesn't have any! And I'm not your matey either! <laughs> <laughs> Just roll with it, kid. Y'all ready? Then batten down the hatches and hold on tight. Aye, aye! <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. 
Uh, they really did see it much, much better than the OG. Much better. He was an a-hole in the OG, so I really like this change. He's very likable. He's very blunt and likable. Well, that's it for today. So next time I'm playing, we're gonna be at the temple. Oh my God, I'm so worried. <laughs> Oh, you guys have no idea how worried I am. I am severely worried. <sighs> yeah, I'm gonna quit. Because otherwise I'm just gonna sit here thinking about Aerith, what might happen, and just cry of the thought that we might actually not be able to save her. <sighs> No, no, no. Thank you guys for watching. Bye.